Hey, Ag Teacher Thoughts here. It is time for us to start paying attention to our petunias and their blossoms. So today I just noticed that it is a spraying season. So if you come down here and you look at this blossom, you're going to see some little circular holes right there on the edge of that blossom. And then you can come down a little bit more and you're going to find an edge that's missing on that blossom. That is indicative of this little pest right down hill here. This is budworm. That is a really small one. If you look up top, right here underneath, uh, focus on there, right there, that is a budworm. Those will start denuding your basket of blossoms. So it'll go from looking like this wonderful, beautiful hanging basket to being nothing but green foliage. And it will actually start eating your blossoms when they are still, um, before they're still opened, you're right? So they'll start eating these. And then uh, those that do open, they'll have just the tiny little corolla in the center and everything else will be missing. So one of the things I did notice is the budworm did start on the dark purple first or the blue and right here this is totally indicative of budworm okay and not only that there's a little budworm right there right there crawling around see that little guy um so what do you do to protect for budworm well i know most people don't like to use pesticides in their garden and um that's true. You know, these are uh, plants. They're not normally serviced by bees, but there are some plants here that a bee would want to service. Uh, the hummingbirds do like to come and service them, uh, but we don't want to poison any of the insects. You know, we need all the pollinators we can get. Even if we do have some pollinators that'll make holes like that, our, our cutter bees or alfalfa bees, um, they will come in and make circular holes in our flowers. But this is definitely from a worm. It's definitely from budworm. So what do you do to get rid of them? What can I do to kill those but not hurt all of the other insect life? Well, you know, some people say, hey, use insecticidal soaps, uh, spray it off with water, you know, all of these crazy solutions. But what I'm going to give you is a solution that is actually a biological. This is BT or Bacillus thuringiensis. See if I can put it down here so we can focus on it a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. This is made by Bonide, but there are other types of it available. I think I saw another packaging. I don't know if it's a, another licensing of it, but this is Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay, Bacillus thuringiensis is a bacteria, and this is a bacteria that is only going to go in and attack our little caterpillar friends. Okay, so it's not going to hurt your honeybees. It's not going to hurt uh, the hummingbirds. It is not a pesticide that's a chemical. This is a biological agent. So we are using a bacteria that specifically targets our little worm buddies. And it goes in and that bacteria, when that bacteria uh, is ingested, and they do have to ingest that, it does have to be eaten by the caterpillar. When they ingest that, that goes down into their intestines, into their gut, and the bacteria begins to replicate and grow down there. Well, one of the um, waste products of that bacteria is a crystal, and it's a really sharp, pointy crystal. And that crystal begins to grow and expand as those bacteria continue to feed. And it actually goes through and ruptures and destroys the digestive system of the caterpillar. And it happens fairly quickly. You know, I've sprayed BT and two, three days later, I found dead caterpillars and they're all desiccated and dried out. Um, so this is safe. This is safe to use around your pets. Um, it's safe to use around other insects. It is only, only going to target budworms, right? So see that budworm damage? We just so happen to have that little buddy there. So go out, get it at just about any farm store. You're going to ask for BT. You don't have to ask for the Bacillus thuringiensis. They're not going to know what it is. But go and ask for BT, and then you come in and you spray that on your plant. Um, try not to get downwind of this stuff. Uh, it does have a little bit of an odor. Some people can detect the odor. Some people can't. Some people say it has kind of an earthy scent. Uh, but it is completely safe. Uh, there's 
a little bit more budworm damage on a calibrecoa. Um, so feel free to spray that on there. It's not going to hurt anything else, and it's going to specifically target that budworm. Now, if you have another insect that's doing damage, this isn't going to help with that. This will solely target budworm. So again, BT or Bacillus thuringiensis, and that is there to get rid of budworm for you. All right, hope that was informational and gives you an idea of a solution for a problem in your garden you may not know yet. Ag Teacher Thoughts out.